Hi art Hello, friends. friends! Today we're going to be drawing in each other's art styles. Yeah, this was your great idea. Well, it wasn't. I got it from someone in the comments. I've been drawing in my style all morning and then Steph was like, oh! like a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> and then you were like, oh, well, let's draw in each other's styles for a video today. I'm like, no! <laughs> for what it's worth, I think your art style's a lot harder to imitate than mine, so Ooh. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Can this video just be about stroking my ego? <laughs> How about just stroking your short stroking little Stroking my head. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's very tough. It will be, I'm a tough man. So, let's get to our sketchbooks. Let's do this. Right, so, for equipment that I've brought along, we've got our pencil cases, which, to be honest, this is going to be kind of like a pencil case swap, because surely we should do it in each other's mediums. <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not excited about using yours either. <laughs> oh no, oh no. And something else that I brought in to help us out is that... What's this? Two of our sketchbooks, so that's one I'm recently using. This oh, is Adam's Doodle Date one. It. But yeah, you guys probably have already seen a video on this, so... You're lucky you got a lot of reference. This isn't even full! It's got like five pages in it. Look at this, hold on. How many have you actually? All of that's empty. <laughs> yeah, he's got like five drawings in it for reference. Great. So I need to draw like like you, right? Yeah. Have you noticed I put one of my red bubble stickers of me on the front of it? <laughs> oh, look at this. I wondered why you'd brought that in. Because <laughs> this this was an adventure getting hold of this book. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys about it. Are you really bringing that up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Completely unrelated to the video, but sure, go for it, go for it. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> it's an art book for uh, the Disney film Treasure Planet, and Treasure Planet's like one of my most favourite films ever. And I seen it online for sale in America, and I was, it was really cheap, and I was like, I need this book. I got it, and they give me, well, I didn't get it straight away, that was the problem. I bought it. And then it was sent to Pennsylvania. <laughs> and I don't live in Pennsylvania. No, we live in England. I emailed this lady called Janet, and Janet was like, don't worry about it, it's fine. I was like, it's not fine, it's Oh, he was so cross with poor Janet. <laughs> like, Janet, my book's in Pennsylvania. <laughs> How do I get Everything a refund, is, Janet? <laughs> Everything is not okay. But she, it was really weird because we'd waited like, I think, two weeks and we hadn't heard anything. And I know the post is slow when you like buy things in different countries but three days after I emailed it it arrived and on the package that it came in I peeled off my address and there was another address underneath so I don't know if something went wrong <laughs> you're just gonna leave it next to you <laughs> it's gonna be my inspiration well, you can't inspire my work's gonna be your inspiration no <laughs> close enough I guess Oh, I have a suggestion. Oh no, I hate suggestions. What is it? Can you draw? Oh no, Terence isn't in this one. Um, can you draw the cat lady? The cat lady. Yeah, who still doesn't I have a name. I don't even know how to get in this. <laughs> Very elaborate. <laughs> Pretty sure a goldfish could get in that if it tried hard <laughs> <Gold> enough. <laughs> I need to get in the mind of Adamo right now. I think he'd start with a HB and work up to something softer. You work down. There's only a 2B in here. There shouldn't be, there should be something way darker oh, in there. There's an F. That's not, that's not softer, that, you're going up. I've been drawing like me for a very long time. Oh, there's the Pringles! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can use the Pringles as reference if you like. Thank you. Hey, that's not the cat lady, that was no, the one I marker want, challenge Because I don't want to draw exactly like you did. Oh. I'm trying to get reference for how... We... Are you going to put her face on the cat lady's head? No. Uh, oh, 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 she's doing it. Just trying to get a feel for how things work around here. She has a very round head. Does this it... is this is why I don't do, don't do tutorials. <laughs> how to draw the cat lady. She has a round head. This concludes today's tutorial. This is starting to look more and more like my art style. <laughs> <laughs> Drawing in each other's art styles. But we just do our own. So Adam's just been insulting every pencil I have in my pencil case. <laughs> Where's the good stuff? <laughs> <laughs> you have to it all out. <laughs> yeah. Be... You have to start Ooh. with a red collar is. Ugh. I thought you used to like red collar is. Oh, okay. Ooh, that one's nice. That's mine! Stop, <laughs> Stop putting that in there. That's, that's mine. <laughs> so are these as well. Hey! No wonder I can never find anything. You're not allowed to insult my art supplies because they're, they're essentially not yours. yours. <laughs> they're not even yours. So you guys, this is why it's important to have someone very close to you that also draws so that you can nick off the stuff. <laughs> I can't believe it. I haven't seen those in like months. Oh, but we're in love. Oh, my, my love fuels my addiction for stealing art things. I'm, look, I'm actually looking at, at a picture of you. That is you. You're really good at drawing yourself. I'm not very good at that. Nah, I really struggle with drawing myself. See, my art style's so easy to replicate. It's, it's not. I think you're being a little bit too hard on yourself. 
I have a bit more of like a 2D kind of look to my I work. really like that, you know. Whereas I think you go for a bit more of a 3D yeah. Kind of with yours. Have you decided what you're drawing, Emma? So, like, who you're drawing? No, not yet. I'm just like, hmm. I was gonna say you could draw one of my characters, but like, the only character I think I've got on Doodle Dirt is Party God. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, we draw all these characters that you guys seem to like and enjoy, but then we just forget about them. <laughs> We've got too many ideas. It's like Terence is the most recent one, and you guys wanted a sticker of Terence, and I'll do one. And you wanted one of the hand from the hand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can do one of that for you if you want. I'm sort of just copying this, but from a different <laughs> angle. Hey! Like, hmm. Stop copying Let's my Let's mix it up a bit, shall we, with all of this reference that you've provided, all five pages of it. Oh, look, there's a picture of my friend Holly that I did oh, and as a, a Pokemon fairy. trainer. Yeah. The player is like, catch me! I noticed that, and people have said before that you do little fish in the ears. Sometimes I do. Little fish. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Let me show them my fish technique. I'm gonna try and do a mix of all of these in here, I think. Right. If I make a character using all the different things you've got, that's what I'll try and do. Okay, you have to give her a name when it's finished. Can I call her Betty Crocker? How come you're allowed to invent a character and now you have to draw one that already exists? <laughs> Because you made the stupid rule of using this. You used to draw on that back in the day. And I, I, well, I would love to, but you steal them. <laughs> it's because you sharpen them to nothing, so I have to salvage anything Welcome I can. Welcome to Doodle Dead, where today we have a domestic of our pencils. <laughs> oh, look, a cake. This helps me in no way. <laughs> this has accidentally turned into like a tiny sketchbook tour. Yeah, well, I'm just like, what can I draw? What can I draw? It's weird because I've actually inadvertently done... Her? We're, we're, oh, we're both yeah. doing characters with like big circle clumps of hair It's on almost top. like you're doing the cat lady in my style. In your style. <laughs> oh, you've got the eyelashes right on mine. I always do them at the bottom like that. Okay, I'm going to draw this back. She's going to wear the backpack on the front of her body. <laughs> well, why? Because <laughs> that's how it looks. This is the reference that I need to use. <laughs> I'm taking it so literally. I was told that once, and one of my school reports was, uh, Adam takes things too literally. Oh my gosh, you really, really do. Like, we were watching a TV show earlier on, and he was in hysterics because a character in the background that no one even <laughs> pays attention to <laughs> was playing an arcade game and it wasn't on. It wasn't switched on. <laughs> Like, I'm going for the high score. It's like a black screen. But it's because it's not a relevant character. He's just got to pretend he's playing. It has broken like... my immersion. <laughs> and then he wouldn't focus on the main plot of the film because he was so focused on this man in the background. He'd given me this story. I was like, is he going to win? <laughs> is he going to realise it's switched up? I want my money back. This game sucks. There we go. So she's got a backpack on. No, I want to hear a bit more um, backstory of which teacher it was who thought that you think... took things too literally. Which class was it? That's that's very important. I think it might have actually been my art one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? That's very ironic. I don't even know why. Why would that even apply to like art class? <laughs> it's like painting by numbers. I was just like painting numbers. <laughs> I don't. This looks so strange. <laughs> it's like her body is a backpack, <laughs> or like a head coming out of a backpack. <laughs> I dress myself today. There we. Go. Oh, there we go. We can have a hold in it. Like maybe she's getting something out of it. Right. Even, even though it's clearly Even though she's not looking at it. Oh. <laughs> now you need to be looking down here, miss. So on the topic of feedback that you used to get from teachers... Oh, I wish I'd never told you this. <laughs> Are there any other types of feedback you used to get? I was told that I like, didn't listen and stuff. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that you're a dingus. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Adam is a dingus. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, every single report that I used to have um, you used to basically say that Stephanie refuses to put her hand up in class. Oh yeah, you do. You never contribute to anything. <laughs> oh, well, you but, were very shy. Well, I wasn't shy, I just didn't like anyone at school. <laughs> I, I, I hate coming here. I think a lot of people can relate to that. Sometimes school, sometimes school isn't the most fun of places. I think Adam did a better job of fitting in at school than I did. <laughs> but then again, with my history, uh, not so much secondary, but in primary school, I changed schools so many times, and I think that probably yes, had its yeah. impact. It just made me like a massive introverted loner. <laughs> well, I guess when you are like in what's classed as primary school, or you know your first grades and stuff, that's when you kind of develop and learn all your friend making skills. I guess like I have a pencil. Oh, I have an eraser. Let's be friends. <laughs> I remember yeah. my. I remember th this is like it must have been scarred into my memory, but I remember my first day of school. And there's this kid there, and I, and I said to him, "Oh, can I be your friend?" And he looked at me and went, "No." 
<laughs> he just walked up. Did you ever make friends with him? Nope. Really? No, seriously. No. <laughs> he was adamant he did not want to be my friend. Aww. <laughs> he looked me right in the eyes. Like, no. Oh gosh, when I was recording Adam, um, I was clutching onto a pencil and look at how it's like indented into my finger. There it is. Yeah. There. I've left an indent of a pencil into <laughs> my hand. <laughs> Kinda tempted to put one of the cats in our arms. Yeah, it's one thing I can't do is draw cats. I really struggle with drawing cats as well. Actually, you guys, right, do you hmm. find it easy drawing cats or do you find it easier drawing dogs? Yeah, seriously, some of, well, some of you guys have been super sweet and kind enough to draw the Atomic Cats and you tag us in on Instagram and stuff. And you guys can draw cats like really yeah, well. Yeah, some of you guys are so <laughs> good at drawing cats. Way, way better than I can. I think I'm better at drawing dogs. I've, I've never had a pet cat before and I've had dogs previously, so I think well, it same, yeah. just like experience. <laughs> We had someone draw the Atomic Cats and send it to the P.O. Box recently. That was really sweet. Yeah. It was... They'd invented their own uh, Atomic Cat. Called... Oh, what was his name? It was name? called Desmond. Yeah, the Desmond Atomic and he was Stripey. Yeah. I think it was someone called Sophie that made that. Oh, that's cute. Kind of looks like she's strangling it right now. No, he's <laughs> loving it. <laughs> oh. can, you do your f can you do your best Atomic Cat impression? Come on! <laughs> What do you think of her so far? I mean, it's your character. Does this look like you've drawn it? She, she wouldn't strangle her cat. But... <laughs> well, apart from that one minor detail. <laughs> I, think, I think it looks like her, of course. I'm going to swap to one of these really precious pencils of Adam's. <gasps> not just anyone's. Oh, wow, pencils. I didn't know I had a 10B one that, that was not as used as that. <laughs> it's mine now. No. It's going in my pencil, I guess. That was meant to be his tail, but it just looks like a weird cocktail sausage <laughs> popping out of her arm. It's what, the wrong oh, shape. Which tail. atomic cat is it? This one. Was he Mushroom Mike? Uh oh. What colour is he? He's that one. You read him? That one was Godfred, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. That one was Bert, and I think that one was Mike. Yeah, because we run out of names and I just called him Mushroom Mike, and you laughed at him. He's got a really weird shaped hair. Like They're that. all really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what nuclear stuff does to you. What do you think? Do you think my art style looks like Adam's yet? <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I just got a close up look of her face. I think when we get some smudging in, that might do it. Oh, I can't smudge mine. I have to ink it. Ugh. What are you doing in my pencil, I guess? I'm looking for this. Oh. Oh, this is the one that you've been using for all of these. So. Yeah, it's from the ballpoint pen challenge because we had like a ton of uh, oh, black yeah. and blue pens, so I thought I might as well get some use out of them. But I figured, seeing as obviously you're doing all of these in this, I should do the same. Is there anything that you've learnt about my art style from like copying it? That you really like fish ears. <laughs> <laughs> um, the eyes more so because your eyes are quite unique. I think that, that you do. Ooh. Gotta get that bag in. <laughs> it makes me laugh, like, how exactly that you've copied <laughs> the backpack, like, even putting in the same little details as that yeah, one. Yeah, like, what's that? Is that, like, a ring to inflate it or something? <laughs> what, what is I that don't know. for? It was, like, a reference that I was using, and I was trying to stylize it from the reference, and it just had a thing like that on, but it just made me laugh that you included it as well. It's turned into, like, a game of, um... You know, like that telephone art game thing where you copy each other's style and pass it along. Oh, and pass it along, yeah. <laughs> I can tell I'm so not used to using <laughs> these. It makes me laugh because to me, I feel like the face is the thing that most looks like my art style. Right. The hair's a bit more you. The backpack's more me because you wouldn't normally put in something that <laughs> because detailed. Because you've it. <laughs> but then like the gesture of walking forwards, I'd never venture in anything that daring. <laughs> oh, why not? Are you, gonna, right. are you gonna smudge this thing? You got, there's no blending stumps in here so I have to use my finger. That's good, you have more control when you use your finger. Ugh. If you don't, seriously guys, if you don't have any blending stump things, just use your finger. Do you then draw back in the line? Sometimes. If you were doing this, is there anything that you'd be like, oh, there's that thing that needs doing? Well, she has three cats, not one. <laughs> what, you tell me to draw all the other cats <laughs> Did, did well? she strangle the other two? <laughs> okay, I'll try and include them. Oh, really? I was, I was kidding. All oh, right, well, it's happening now. And his tail's a bit more wispy. They're kind of like Eevees, how they all have different shaped yeah. tails. Is that one Bert at the top? I think so. <laughs> we'll just have the names all wrong, even though yeah. it's your character. People will be like, you're a fake fan, and I'll be like, I invented it! <laughs> <laughs> you're a fake fan of your own, yeah. <laughs> your own franchise. 
And he's got a weird little limp looking tail. He's got like a, like a wet noodle tail. Wet noodle. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly let you guys vote who you think imitated each other's style the best. Me! No, it's definitely me. This is my picture, yeah. Yeah, with your, with your cardboard <laughs> cutout cat. If you'd like to see another romantic collab. This isn't a that, romantic collab. This is very romantic. <laughs> no! This is romantic. Doodle it. Doodle it. Bye guys. Bye guys.